Hello everyone, this is a quick video on how to factory reset this three branded ZTE model MC801A 5G mobile broadband router. In this example over here I am pinging its default IP address of 192.168.0.1 which isn't responding. And what we have over here is somebody's changed the settings on this router to be 10.20.30.40 and we also don't know its password. So the only way to get this back into our control to configure it is to factory reset it. You can't use a paperclip unless it's a very thin paperclip. What you will need, or will work quite well, is a mobile phone SIM card eject tool. So from an iPhone or uh, some other similar phone. On the underside of the router, just below where the power goes in, is a little flap there. You need to open that up, slide it or rotate it out of the way. This tiny hole here to the left of the SIM card slot is the reset button. To factory reset the router you need to take your thing that can poke the reset hole and hold it down for about 10 seconds. Uh, I will let you know when I'm going to press it and hopefully you can also see the lights here as well. So I'm going to start pressing it now. And then I'm going to let go. Note that all of the lights came on white and have stayed on. And over here it has stopped responding to the pings on the non-default IP address. This thing takes uh, probably about a minute to boot up and be ready, maybe a minute and a half. And what we should see over here on the left side is the pings will resume because it's on its default IP address and our custom setting over here, whoops, if it hadn't uh, gone into screen blank mode, custom setting over here isn't working because it's now factory reset. And it's indeed what we do get, ping from its default 192.168.0.1 IP and no ping on the, the settings that were on this router. So there you go, that's how you factory reset this ZTE MC801A. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Uh, there is also going to be uh, two other videos, at least in the description. One of them is showing all of the lights on this, all of the connectors on the back, and just generally all about the router. And then the other one will be a comprehensive video about the web interface, so configuring uh, IP addresses, changing Wi-Fi details and other things. So this screen that you can see here, there'll be a, a, a long video about every single screen that you can get to on this router. Hopefully this has been helpful. As I say, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.